Uh, I'm not mistaken. Yan. Yes. Si Kuya Jomi. Uh, I'm so excited, bro. Ah. May mga curveball na binato dito. Ang Omega next week, bro. What do you think is going to happen? Who's got the early game? And eventually, what if we scale? Who's got the late? Uh, definitely late game sa side ng NXP yung Sicilian in the gold lane. We've seen this before. Maganda naman yung matchup niya versus Popol and Koopa. Ang tricky nga lang is what if mag- magkaroon ng plus one itong si Popol and Koopa sa lane. Paano pag naging nun yung Rafaela? It will definitely change the dynamic. Ang uh, masasabi ko sa... In a way, maganda pa rin yung late game na Omega. Pero baka kasi mahirapan sila. Although link makes sense against Sicilian, may lockdown na na expect natin mula sa Ruby. Um, Ruby sa ngayon, sa meta game natin ngayon, as of um, as of previous uh, tournaments that we see, uh, sorry, as of previous days na nakita natin dito, naka counter ng Ruby ang link. Hindi dahil hard counter siya, but more like isa siyang way para mailang palagi itong link. At nakita natin yan ng Saonic Philippines, nakita natin yan kahapon with another series that we saw Ruby go up against the link. And it's uh, good. And It kind of makes me scared. Bakit yung ling yung kanilang ni last pick? But we'll see. Uh, Popo and Rafa might be the one is to alleviate the pressure in the early stages of the game. Omega knows exactly what they're doing. Tina natin kung ano nga ba magig yeah. layout at kung sino sino ay kailangan ng mga heroes na ito sa game number one. Let's go into the battle. This is Omega versus Next Play Evos. Uh, so yeah, it's it's, it's indeed si Hayes, si Batano na naka Matilda. Tapos, gold lane, Cecilio niya all. So, okay. Medyo, yes. medyo, medyo normal lang ang mundo. Nag-get sa natin. Nag-tingnan natin. <laughs> yep. So, um, donut on this uh, Cecilio. Uh, wag kayo masyado ma-surprise. This, well, this will not be the first time. Uh, this wasn't the first time na makikita tayo na gold lane na Cecilio. In fact, nung uh, season 7 pa lang ng MPL sa Indonesia ay ginagaw- ginagawa na to ng mga players. For now, it will be seen in the hands of the donut. Oh, Kadenza. Konti na lang. Nakapag-shield pa with the ejector proc. Could have been first blood. Yeah. So, ang tricky for uh, next play is napilitan silang gamitin itong Ruby doon sa may XP lane kung saan masaya pa rin dito si Renzio. And overall sa game, there's a lot of shielding from NXP boss courtesy of the joint and the Matilda. But H2 already na poo. pinag-initan. Again, early on, walang masyadong mobility itong Aulus na ganito. And ang layo ng uh, support niya. So, two, so far, off cam kill onto Oreshi. Yep. Yun lang yung na, napasam, dun lang napasama yung NXP boss. Maganda yung Ruby versus uh, many members of Omega. But, in the laning stage, magsasuffer talaga sa isang Esmeralda. Specifically because of Avaris, tapos malakas talaga mag ng Esmeralda versus Mayday. Wala mang uh, malakas na barrier itong uh, Ruby. Same time, hindi niya kayang uh, i-follow itong ating Esmeralda. Kasi it's lamang nga siya. In fact, Rezio is level 5. Hindi pa nang support dito si Oreshi. And you can also see it in the gold, but wait lang! Up play taken down! Mabawi dito! Tempest of Blaze underneath the turret! Si Donut naman ang mga wala. One for one so far. Pero yung turtle nasimulan na dito. Who has the advantage down ago the turtle? Aulus makakuha H2 with the shield. At mga double kill si Oresh. Ni Renzi yung sinasiyaw sa one dito. Ang daming shields between Cadenza and H2. Pero mukhang kulang pa. Babalikan niya lang sa lane. Wolf, medyo nakahabol ang next play Evos doon. The parity now, maybe just 100 gold between 3 minutes in. Well, Oreshi, sobrang ganda ang comeback. Recovery nun when it comes to the overall farm nitong si Oreshi. Dahil nakakuha siya ng double kill. Tapos, kills sa early stages para sa isang uh, hero na naka-festival of blood. Definitely one thing na gustong gusto niyan. Um, now with the uh, dalawa na agad yung napastack niya doon. Makes it so na pwede na siyang umikot. Magsaswap din sila. Ibibigay kay H2 itong top lane. At bumukunta sa mid lane si Oreshi. I wonder what that decision was. Uh, temporary rotation lang. I think next play was also nagtataka na sila. Kasi kumpara naman sa Omega, mas maganda yung rotation ng speed nila na bigay ng Rafaela. Because of the holy healing, right? Like you have more movement speed. So ngayon nagre-repair sila. Ayan, bumabalik na. Normal na ulit. But this also opens up Ryzen. Kumukuha ng uh, Purple Steel. Inuna niya. Kunin, uh, kunin yung kay H2 instead of securing his own. Going for the Retribution. Iniwan pa yung maliit for added salt to the wound. Oh. At nakakuha pa siya ng DHS on top. Parang extra na lang yun, eh, no? Pero wait lang. That's going <laughs> to be an... I'm offended on Renzio. Kaya ba niya pa nagamit yung uh, pure ano, uh, yung flicker. 
So he's okay. Uh, tatlo papadala ng next play Evos dito. Try to finish the job. Pero may setup lang sila. 20 seconds until uh, the second turn to. So maganda ang position. The next play Evos dito. Radio. Aminis Andulo ng Undying Fury Ejector! Round 2! Oreshi na katatlo na! Dito ang Ruby natin. Takno, kami rin. Aizen as well. May purple buff pa. Ooh! That's gonna be the black list. They're missing! It is a blade force out. Ito max. Less than half health. Ang hirap ng engagement ng Omega East Coast. Ito very good for next play though. Okay. So, um, gusto kayo ginawa doon ni Cadenza. Instead na straight up mag-flicker siya tapos unstoppable force. Kung pumunta muna siya doon sa kanang bush, doon sa Kramer's bush, and making sure na walang kahit anong support doon si Renjo, then eventually pops the unstoppable force under the turret. Kaya naman nakakuha sila ng isang malinis na takedown doon kay Renjo. No exchange whatsoever. However, ang uh, Omega Esports naman ay dinadaan ito sa mapa. Ryzen, making it so na lumalaki yung distance niya when, uh, when it comes to the farm compared to H2 by taking out yung jungle creeps ng blue side. Yep, uh, already, no? Meron na nga siya lamang na isang purple, na alibro siya ng purple kay H2. Mm -hmm. So, bibilangin natin yan. Uh, kung, uh, later on, we'll also see yung gold gap sa XP gap nila. But so far, almost 6 minutes in, more than a minute until the next turtle. Slowly nakikita natin na sa mapa nga bumabawi Omega East Coast. Lamang sila ng mga 300, 400 gold lang dito. And so far, what's the gold lane matchup like? Medyo okay lang na nakakaisa pa lang each na death si Donut sa self -lane. Well, to answer your question, anytime above ground, parang kay isa isang sila na yung masaya. Masaya siya. Dahil makapag-farm, makapag-stack siya. At this point, one death, oh, oh, not too bad para sa Sicilia. Yup, and again, the rotational speed of Omega Esports. Free kill for Ryzen in mid, Matalon, all down. Ejector by Cadenza, out by the Undying Fury! Mabagsak naman dito, Kiman, Pangilo, Cadenza, poor, I'm offended! Which boys palayo, damage control for Omega Esports. Napakamahal ng mga engagement sila dito. Parating may trade, ang next play. And Omega Esports will be uh, able to secure the turret. Gusto gusto ko yung play ni Cadenza na yun, going for the what do you call, TikTok plays. Kung saan gagamitin niya agad yung injector. Tapos tsaka siya mag-flaker. Catching off guard. And you know, si Chakto, Rafaela. We get more! Wow, Cadenza. 1-0-4 for this uh, Jawhead. Lethal Jawhead. Uh... Ang namang na next to Evos, I mean, kapag may gusto siya ng target, confirmed yun eh, di ba? Just like this, underneath. Oh, walang back up. Ryzen gets another one. Nalik si Oreshi ng bahagya. Cyclone ay nag-trigger. Naligtas nila yung Tore, pero hindi naligtas si H2. And bottom lane, uh, I think doon nakakabawi. Eh. Donut, nakalamang na isang Tore. And that opens up this uh, third turtle for next to Evos. Uh, so the main problem para sa isang, uh, uh, sa isang Olus going for the jungler role is wala siyang flicker. That means na kapag mag-isa siya, dali niya talaga yung dive. And look at Omega Esports going in for the kill kay H2. At this point, si H2 hindi siya pwedeng basta-basta magpakita sa mapa without the help of his teammates kasi ang dali niyang patayin. Lalong lalo lang solo tapos nagpapakita siya sa minimap ng Omega Esports. Knowing that may ling, pwede siyang ego talaga no, no, wherever he goes. So he has to be careful showing himself in the minimap. Oh! Kamunti ka na mahuli pero dito sa may hilaga on cam pa yun, on cam. Si Outplayed ay na 2v1 ni uh, Haze at ni Cadenza. Oh no, si Oreshi pala yan. I'm sorry, that's the XP laner on the Ruby. That's a free kill and eventually nakahabol na nga si H2. Hindi nila naantay. Naging Lord na in 8 minutes, 30 seconds. Let's see, nasaan si Ryzen. Can he clutch it with the Retribution? Renzi ang ganda na position dito. Charging of the Falling Star Moon. Jumping on to Donut. Ejector on to Ryzen. Forcing out the Tempest of Blades. Makapatay na doon si Cadenza. Healing up with the Killing Spree. Si Oreshi na yata ang susunod. Healing with the Lifesteal, the Spell Bomb. Eto, Max, mababurst down dito ni Haze. Nabitin ang mga Wisps. And it's gonna be a turnaround. Ryzen takes down the Matilda. Two for none so far. And Omega Esports, time to recover. Harap sila ng uh, take sa mapa, mid and bottom. My goodness, napaganda na ng pwesto ng NXP Evils. With the pwesto nila, they also utilize si Cadenza for extra vision. At natalo na nagkat si Ryzen. Unfortunately, hindi enough yung burst nila. Tabuhay pa ka doon yung Ling. Yung Ling was very low at that point. Kaso yun nga, nang na-ultian sila ng, ng uh, Kagura. Ito Max with the Yin Yang Overturn punishing both 
Oreshi as well as Cadenza. Kaya naman na buhay din si Ryzen kasi nakapag-killing speed mo siya. At uh, to top it all off, ito Max, proving na pwedeng-pwede ang flicker sa isang Kagura. Ginamit yon para makalayo. A very defensive usage of the of the battle spell but it paid off in the end. Ang pinaka-icing pa dyan sa cake ng mga mega esports ay hindi nila naibigay yung Lord. Ooh, nice flicker. Yep. Up. Kanina pa, ganito maglaro si Outplay. Very risky, but it's worth it. Maka isa sila kay Cadenza. At boy pa nga, yung kupa niya. This is going to be a, a slow roll for Omega Esports na makakuha ng dominant positioning. So far, uh, Omega Esports, nagharap sila na actual ng spike ulit. Ba't ganun, Wolf? Normal ba yun? Is that, is that a pattern? Kasi kahapon ganito yung mga draft nila eh. Na parang may mid-game or late-game spike. Uh, I guess so. Uh... Once makita natin, okay, baka, baka one off lang. Twice, it was the intended it. But after seeing it three times, tapos same na single skarte, and it gets better each time, maybe you can say, yeah, this is definitely a pattern. At baka bumabalik ang Omega Esports sa roots nila kung saan they're the kings of the late game, right? And now against NXP Evos, even better to prove their point na, okay, hindi one off yung nangyari, hindi chamba yung mga comebacks kahapon. This is actually part of the identity already of Omega Esports. Omega Esports, uh, again, they, they change every time from the <laughs> old ways of education until now na may bago silang jungler at kahit si outplayed ay may sarili siyang style. Kino natin paano mag-a-adjust ay next play Evos. Moreshi tries to catch one. That's the uh, Sanguine Claws. Na delikado rin naman. Uh, walang purify kasi sa Omega Esports, no? So they only have that cleanse on... Eto, Max Calling Star mo dito ni Renzio. Sasalay niya sa mukha. Ang I'm offended. But I'm dying fury, but it's enough! Over destruction para masecure the Lord doon. Down goes the Zenda. Tempers of Blades used to uh, disengage Omega Esports. Libre mo pa tayo. Libre Lord. They're feeling great in this 11 minute 30 second game. Oh, wow. Uh, Renzio. Super duper commendable. Na pag out, uh, pag zone out. Members of NXP Evos. Itanada ay pag 1v1 sa lima, it's still coming out, uh, coming out alive. Ginamit yung wall na yon doon sa my rock or sa, uh, sa area ng rock or sa flickering so that he will not be reached by the members of NXP Evos. Ang naging effect nun ay eh, nakapag free lord ng Omega. Yep, tinan natin kung mag-uulit ka ba yun, Circling Ego, and all the skills of all four members na nandito sa may bottom lane. Sobra naman yata, masyado na malakas. Si Rendy ako masasurvive niya pa yun. Next week was nakabawi, free kill. Pero back to damage control sila, back to managing the waves kasi may lord sa taas. Yeah. At this point, hindi naman din, hindi na ganun kahirap pa pag-defense. Lalong na wala si Rendy, so no... No split push or no straight up hard push for a mega esports gonna happen after the first door. Unless the outplayed, tinlang kaya ang tore. Gamit si Kupa at ako wapa ng tore dito sa may bottom lane. Weapon master, Popolin Kupa. So good. Sobra sa yao wolf. Sabi ko na sobra sa yao na talagang marksman ng asin Popolin Kupa. Dati tang pero ngayon minsan ko apostore pero ngayon ko brasa yon na sa Golden Shaft Flicker in by Cadenza cancels the engagement with the guiding wind rising on na naaw niya ba oh he does wow hindi lang para sa H2 ang media lahe pero wait lang I'm offended by Oreshi here if you know you know that's gonna be the disengage right there Alam mo yung maganda dito, nabigyan pa nila ng free purple buff dito si Eto Max. So that means yung mage ng Omega Esports ay magkama additional na ma, uh, control of uh, his own mana pool. And interestingly si H2, hindi naman niya sobrang kailangan ng purple buff but Omega Esports will be re really happy with that and Chakto evading that. Yep. So far, lumalaki na yung gold gap Omega Esports. Ito na, nakita na natin eh, na nakakuha sila ng grip, nakakuha sila ng magandang posisyon. And this is their mid-game spike. Again, looking at their lineup, medyo expensive yung heroes nila. You have the Ling, you have the Esmeralda, then you have the Popolin Kupa. Pero nagawa nila paraan. Uh, ahead by three turrets, ahead by a Lord. And now an engagement here in mid. It's Etomax and Ryzen. Hindi na magbubuhay si Kapitan Kaibin. But here comes Rentio to the rescue. Pinipigilan lang ang malupit na push na next to Evos. All five men here. Oh, first down, the H2. Nag-aarap ng bawal dito ang next play, Evos. Pero masyadong maraming units. Masyadong maraming nangyayari dito sa mid. At hindi pa ready yung stacks ni Donut. Luminous Lord up already 14 minutes. Oh, 
Another pull in and a takedown. Sak Mamba. Nahirapan na bigla. Hindi ko pala tapos ang next ng Evos. If ang uh, malupit doon eh, nakakuhaan na patay at namatay yung kanilang jungler with a very nice pick-off mula sa Omega Esports in the back uh, uh, rock lines. At nakita natin si Update doon. Dapat ang advantage na sa Omega na dahil wala silang red in this third fight but I think they have equalized. But Omega Esports, papapilisin. Oh, how about round two si Renzio? Ginagawa na naman niya muli. Mr. Cadwa wow. will see you now. Nakipag 1v1 sa tatlo lang naman, Wolf. Tatlo lang naman siya this time. Pero Luminous Lord ang nabigay sa Omega Esports noon. So, ang ganda na nung, ganda, ganda nung ginawa ng Omega Esports ng pick-off ng KH2. It uh, took long enough para mapabak na konti yung NXP Evos. Eventually, mapapatay na si Chuck, no? But, ang ginawa nila is, ginawa na agad nila yung Lord before the H2 response. However, the burst is real still from the lineup that next to Evos is building. Basta maagad ka, basta mahuli ka na ejector. Magbilang ka na. Chuck, no, taken down here. And under the turret, might have been engagement that's good for Omega Esports. Dahil kahit sila, hindi nila alam kung kaya nila itong 5-man Line-up ng next day. Wolf, ginagawa niyo na naman. Tinatangin niyo naman. Pero kulang pa. Delikado. Mawawala yung kupa dito. Outplayed. They have to take their time. Antahin natin. Chak Mamba. Nakakatakot na talaga yung depensa ng NXP Evos. They have Sicilian. Alam naman natin, sobrang bilis mag-clear ng lanes niya. Even heroes na tumatambay around the around the lanes, kailangan mag-ingat kasi pag tinaman sila ng Sanguine Claws at the combo ng Sicilian ay can easily be taken out. So they have to be, still be mindful of that. That's the reason kung ba't hindi pa rin makapush ang Omega Esports despite them getting the Lord. Kasi nga naman, maganda ang uh, depensa, ang wave clear ng NXP Evos. At this point, pwede rin mag-commit si H2 na kanyang ultimate just to manage the lanes. Mm -hmm. Oh! There's a pull onto the Mamba. Pero si Chaco lang yun. Lotus Ryzen. Kumakat in! Oh! oh. oh. Hindi niya nalang kasti oh. kapitan! Siya pa nga muntigan na! Pero kung mangyayari na ngayon, that's two free kills! Guys, may evos! Pero nakapag-push oh. ang Omega. Was that worth it? Definitely not! Uh, Omega Esports! The, uh, ulti, eto Max really went in for the play doon kay H2. Kaso napanis siya, napatay pa siya. At uh, nadamay pa itong ating link. So the thing is, ang isang... Um, Asang Olus, even when uh, fighter siya, di ba? Pero tricky siya na jungler kasi late game talaga siya. Kapag nakuha na niya yung kanyang maximum ultimate around uh, level 40, level 15, layo na kasi nung range ng attack niya. So technically, mid-range na siya at sobrang lakas na damage as you are seeing top lane. So, nag-scale na nga talaga itong ating, uh, um, uh, ating Olus and eto Max as well as Ryzen. Playing it so well in the first 15 minutes of the game. Kaso medyo napasama sila doon against HP. Ngayon mo si Ryzen ang nanakawan ng purple buff. At alam mo natin ang link kailangan niya talaga ng purple buff. So mukhang next to Evos nagbabadya na sila. Tapos na masasaya mong araw Ryzen. He has to learn quickly from that mistake that pushed him down into the bottom lane. Na again, now thinking about it in hindsight, ang ang sakit nga nun. Luging-lugi ka nun kahit na na-push kayo off cam. Lord up already again. So 18 minutes Lord na ito, Wolf. 18 minutes Lord. It's a milestone Lord. So ito yung sinasabi mong almost game ending pag may nakakuha. Exactly. Binigay nila yung purple buff kay Donut. That's the right thing to do at this point. Hindi kailangan ng H2 ng purple buff na yan. Parehas, yung stolen purple buff at yung own purple buff ng NXP, bibigyan lang yung donut just to make sure. Especially because it's the Lord fight. Conceal play. Is this a conceal play coming in? There's the Turgling Eagle. Hindi siya maka-confirm ng kill. Instead, mapapawian din si Cadenza. Papa, hindi immortal. Si Renzio, ginawa naman ang 1v4 special. And there you go. Finally, your jawhead goes. Maganda ang position dito ng Omega Esports. Simulan nila ang dami nilang damage. Sustained damage. DPS. Hindi na natin kumakaposyon. Oreshi, meron siya isang malupit na I'm offended. Donut humahalap dito. With the old, after nang siya ni Etomax at ni Ryzen. Tuloy pa rin ang laban para dito sa Lord. One third of its health left. And si Renzio, Mr. Kadwa, sinasalsawin pa rin ang tatlo. Ang dying fury! Top na yung Esmeralda! And so far, Ace, what a hand on fuck!
This is really all the fact that na recover the oil. Si Etomax. Mula dun sa sinasabi natin over aggressiveness nila dun sa may bottom lane. Nakabawi with, in fact, bawing bawi 